Bruce, this is your first video lesson. Uh, it was September 3rd, 2015. You can see this is really an athletic move. Uh, what I like about it is, is that uh, it's all on plane. It's the number one problem of most amateur golfers is getting that thing on plane, and that's on plane, you know, just about the entire time. Really good, and. Uh, we don't have to do much work with that. The things that we want to focus on, let's just run through things that aren't exactly right. Um, okay, so... You know, good setup. If you want to change anything, I would get a little more over the ball, like uh, Adam Scott. In other words, get his get his butt up a little higher than yours, and his spine angle is a little more <clears throat> a little more severe than yours. See how he's kind of over the ball, and like we talked about, you know, let's get our eyes up. You know, about here, we're kind of down a bit. You're kind of dropping your head in, you know, your chin into your chest. So if you can straighten this line up, get your eyes, you know, up a little higher. I call this kind of, I have the same problem, kind of dropping the head. If you keep this kind of straight and get your chin up a bit, you go see your number one problem, and you pointed out earlier, is that um, you haven't ra made a full turn. And the reason is that you can see as you come here, see how your shoulders are actually, they're level. about like this. And you got a spine angle it's coming through about like this. So you really want to work to get that angle 90 degrees. See, when Scott comes back, see how that shoulder fits nicely under his chin? You know, his, his spine angle is kind of here. It's almost parallel one of the yellow lines. <clears throat> so, as you come back, that, that shoulder, left shoulder, bumps into your chin, raising your head. See how your head is coming up like this? And it stops the swing. It can't go any further, and it can't go any further, and so you manufacture a little bit of a backswing by breaking your left arm. So you got this breakage because you know that this is where your swing actually stops. You know your hands have to be up higher, so you kind of manufacture a backswing by breaking it and raising up. So your ear goes from that crosshairs, cross, crosshair there to here. So it's coming up like, uh, I don't know, three inches, four inches. Now, given this, look, look, you're all on plane. This is really good. So you can really simplify matters and be able to complete your backswing if you get that shoulder under your chin. And remember the drill that we want you to do is you take your the club over your shoulders, assume the address position, and then rotate it. Rotate your left shoulder over your right foot. We put a club down. Uh, you, you did. You ended up with like a hundred and hundred and eight degree uh, turn. And your question to me was, why can't I do that with a swing? And the answer is. Your chin gets in the way, and the thing we uncovered at the end of the lesson was 
you have a left knee that's that's pointing out. top of the swing, your knee is actually pointed out. Well, its knee is here, and we need it caved in, so this leg should be, the knee should be a little caved in towards the right knee, something like that. This is the outside. That's maybe too much, but that's the outside of this leg. So that you get the idea. It's pointed in a bit. And that'll free up your hips. See, your hips have only rotated, I don't know, uh, uh, 10, 10 degrees, 20 degrees. And, you know, you're exactly right. You're not really completing your back swing. You can still see that right shoulder. So back to things that we need to change. The number one thing is chin up shoulder under the chin, then on the back swing, let the shoulder slide under the, the chin, but also cave in that left leg so you can be at the top in the right position. Now, uh, looking at things will eventually improve is once you get here, kind of laid off here, is your lower body is coming away from the back wall. Watch this. Comes away here, so you're losing some spine angle. And then when you come down, you've lost the spine angle, so you're kind of lifting up. You're lifting up more. So you're at impact. At impact, you look like this, and we eventually want you to look like this. See, he's got the, the double cheek thing at impact. Here we only have one. He's got that left hip pocket against the back wall. We've come away from it like five inches. This puts you into a lift and flip thing, where you see you've kind of come out of that spine angle that you had. You've lifted up. you kind of straight straight lined it here. We'll eventually fix that, but the number one thing is is get a better turn and 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 uh, uh, you know working with the chin under sorry the shoulder under the chin and collapsing the left leg at the top. I'll shoot you a still of that. Now with this move, you're you're coming down inside, which is good. But watch the club head fly outside the plane of your hands. See this. Now that's going to be a pull because the club's outside here. It can only go outside. See, it's outside the club now. So watch it. You're going to be pulling this ball, and and look where the um, look where this little uh, uh, lie device uh, goes. It's basically a divot. So it's going it's going pretty severely left because of the path. See that? It's not going down the line. So, we'll, we'll correct that later, but I think once you get a good turn, it'll be easier to keep it inside, and we're not going to dress this outside. See how I... Wait, watch that, Scott. Comes in here. See it? Club's inside his hands. At that point. Then you can just turn through. Now the disadvantage of outside in is that your body figures out I'm going to go way left. So you don't want to get a major league turn through the ball because you're going to go more left and then end up covering it left. Uh, so you kind of hang on and you develop a little slice back. That gets it back in the fairway. So that's 
you can't close up the club face because it'll go more left than it's initially initially started to. So anyway, we'll we'll get back to that uh, at a later time. So then let's look at. Quickly. Okay. So So with, here's Adam Scott. See, that's his top. You and I can't be there. Can't ever get there. But we can get here. That's all we need. See how his right shoulders disappeared? See how this slant is? This slant. And see how this thing is kicked in? Pretty good width here, and then all of a sudden, well, this doesn't show it. But trust me, there's there's a pretty significant break right here. So we got your knee is actually bowed out slightly towards the target. You can still see the shoulder, so you're you're only getting, um, you know, 75 degrees, maybe 80 degrees of shoulder turn, and it's because of this and your chin uh, getting in the way of the shoulder. So I'll give you a copy of this. Now, one final thing while we're here. See how you start as kind of an upper body heave. We're not going to do anything with this now, but watch this. See how he pushes off, and he's really pushing into the ground and pushing here, and we get to this point, and you're kind of flipping at it because your hips are in the way, and you really haven't released the right side. And really the reason you haven't is because you're, you're kind of coming in outside the plane and an outside in path. But we're eventually going to get you to this. And you can you can practice posing this way, as Adam Scott is here. And I'll uh, give you a video of that. But that's, that's uh, like a later lesson.